be shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. Between you and your person, we'll see what's coming up, where it says present. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person, Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So, the Five of Pentacles, it can point to a time when you might start to feel less than secure, or that's how you've been feeling. Now, the important thing to remember is that there's help available when we need it, from forces seen and forces unseen. You could start to feel alone, or you are feeling alone, but you have the capacity to change it, so reach out. You feel maybe like you're being left out in the cold. Maybe as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. Just realize this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help, go out and ask for it. Because the help that you need, it will come. Now, the Five of Pentacles is with this Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is a lot of in and out type of energy. It's showing it's a great time for travel if you can manage to, to get away. Knight of Wands is a about feeling charged up, full of energy. Ready for action, ready to get things done. The self-confidence of this Knight of Wands is likely to be increasing, which helps towards reaching goals. The Knights are often message bearers, and the messages are likely to be positive. Okay, so this type of person is very fearless, brave. They could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, really confident. So what I'm getting, Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person, Five of Pentacles, with this Knight of Wands. So it's saying that you, you're dealing with someone that, wow, well, they're in and out. They could be really charming, they have player type, and they've been making you feel left out in the cold. You're not happy. It's not a happy indicator when it comes to love questions. So you could feel like this person is not treating you the way that they should. Yeah, this person, for a lot of you, not all of you, but a lot of you, they're a player. Yep, they're in and out. As soon as they get there, they're gone. And it just makes you feel, a lot of times you feel left out by this person. You don't feel the relationship offers any security. So, let's move on over and let's see what's coming up. Now, we got the Fool card. And it's with the Five of Cups. The Fool card is actually a newness. It indicates newness in one form or another. It can in many ways indicate the purity, open-hearted energy, innocence of a child. Children, they're trusting, and trust actually forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is a positive card, but there can be one thing. It's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going, because if you trust yourself, like he is in the picture, see the full card? It's the card above the word present. Yeah. Be careful to look where you're going, trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown. That's going to be one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. Yeah, but it's, it's about, this full card is about new beginnings. Just ready to just take a leap, leap of faith. The full card, it can be a risk taker. Somebody that will run off. Maybe a traveler. Now, it's with the Five of Cups. So, the Five of Cups, it actually reminds us that when we put our focus in life, it has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So, you could find that you're asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is probably clear. Are you going to cry over spilled milk or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is, you're going to have to watch where you put your focus coming up. Make sure that the focus is for your highest good. So basically, Leo, full card clarified by the Five of Cups. 
that's what we got coming up. Could be going on around now or it could be go going into November because when you get the readings, the time is fluid. So don't get so focused on the dates for these readings. But anyway, I'm getting that a lot of you, well, whoever this player was, I don't know if you're still with this person, um, they didn't make you feel secure in the relationship. So it looks like it might be a reflective, a thoughtful time of reflect, reflection. Or maybe you'll just be thinking, you're trying to figure out, should you focus on what's good in the relationship? Or should you focus on what's bad? Or you're disappointed, put it that way. Five of Cups is about disappointment. So you're trying to figure out where to put your energy. Yeah, should you focus on, you like this person, you like this player. Because if you didn't like him or her, you wouldn't be trying to figure out where to put your energy in this connection. And that's what you could be doing coming up. But there could be somebody that wants a new beginning with you. This Fool card, I don't know if this is a new person coming towards you. I don't know if this is someone that you already know. It looks like somebody's ready to, to take a leap of faith with you. Or you could know someone that you, you want a new beginning with. Because the Fool card, like I said, it could be about a new beginning. Yeah, and you might be thinking you should just take a chance on this this new person or someone that you know. Yeah, it looks like you could be ready to, you're trying to make a decision about this person that's making you feel left out in the cold. Or should you just take a new, take a leap of faith on this new person or someone else? So it's a decision making time for you. Yeah, it's about making a decision. You're ready to do something. Either take a leap of faith towards someone else or try to figure out what you're going to do with this person that's in and out. So that's what we got coming up. I hope, don't, I hope you don't stay stuck there for too long. But anyway, I like the full card for you. looks like... You're ready to just jump right into the arms of someone, someone else. This Five of Cups looks pretty sad there. But you need to make a decision. So let's see if the challenge brings any type of clarity. So we got the Knight of Pentacles and it's with the Hierophant. Now the Knight of Pentacles, it's about stability actually. Yeah, it's about stability. When you get the Knight of Pentacles, if you're single, this card indicates that you could be ready for a serious relationship and may soon find someone who's ready to provide you with the security and support that you want. And if you're in a relationship, this card means your commitment is solid. This this uh, Knight of Pentacles is a good indicator. Yeah, it's someone who's solid and stable and committed. Very practical type, patient, protective. They're your knight in shining armor. <laughs> yeah, this Knight of Pentacles is a good. It's really good energy. They're patient, they're loyal, they're faithful. So that just tells you a little bit about the Knight of Pentacles. Now the Hierophant is also a, it's a sincere type of energy. Now with this Hierophant, that's what it's clarified with. The Hierophant is the card below the word challenge. You could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend when this type of person is called up for help or advice. This Hierophant. 
with some important matters or issues, their intelligence and their empathy puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So this could be you or someone coming toward you or someone that you know. They're quick-witted. They're well-educated. They're wise teachers marked by integrity. They are the genuine article, a true blue. They're highly, they're highly admired individuals who walk the walk, talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. So, yeah, the Hierophant. With the Hierophant, you get a love that's genuine and true. He has a love that cannot be broken. So, like I said, Leo, the challenge for you, Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Hierophant. So, I'm getting that, like I said, you, whoever make you, making you feel left out in the cold, um, you're trying to make a decision. You must like this person. You're trying to figure out should you stay, should you go, or should you go towards this new beginning you're thinking about. This new new beginning you're ready to take a leap of faith towards or them towards you. Wow, it's showing that they will be good for you. I'm, I'm picking up that a lot of you already know this person. They're stable. They're not afraid of commitment. They're like the Hierophant. They're true blues. They're genuine articles. They walk the walk. They talk the talk. They're not game players. You don't have to worry about anything with this person. So you're thinking about taking a leap of faith towards them. Or they're thinking about this about you. And maybe you don't even know it. Yeah, a lot of you, Leos, you got somebody... That's genuine and real and true. I'm picking up a lot of you already know this person. They're in your world. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about coming towards you. Wanting a new beginning with you. You already know this person. Someone that's sincere and honest. They could be spiritually grounded. Mm -hmm. it's a you got two really good energies here. So, why do you need to make a decision? Like I said, it must be because you got feelings for this player. Maybe you've been with them for a while. But now it's a decision-making time. Because you, there's someone that you know that's good for you. Really good for you. I love these two cards for character. For, for, for the type of person it is. Nine of Pentacles and the Hierophant. There's no games being played. Not with this person. Yep. Somebody that you know. They're thinking they're thinking come they're thinking about coming towards you. They're good for you. So that's a challenge. Let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is gonna be. Well we got the nine of swords and the seven of wands. Now the nine of swords it's about needing to guard against feelings of anxiety. You could start to feel anxious. But take a good look at that and see whether or not any of it's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something can be changed. Yeah, see if something, see if something can be changed to make it more workable for you. Because there's something about this time period. That can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more bigger. More bigger or just different than it is. Now that's the Nine of Swords now. It's with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. You could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top. Things should be going really well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You could still have some regular moments of self-doubt though. But it's going to be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you could help someone out by spelling things out for them. Yeah, it's about being independent and thinking for yourself. So basically, the outcome, Leo, Nine of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Okay, so... Wow. Yeah, you like this player. You like something about this person. 
I'm getting for some of you, you've been with this person for a long time and you, you've been hoping that they changed, but they still, they haven't changed and they often make you feel left out. They often make you feel like there's no security with them. You've got someone that you know. They're coming towards you or you're coming towards them. This person is good for you. Yes, the Hierophant and the Knight of Pentacles. There's, that's a beautiful, stable energy, both of them. This person is good for you. Take them. Go after them. When they come towards you, grab them. Don't let them get away. But you're disappointed still about this Knight of Wands. And the outcome is that it's going to cause you some anxiety. Yeah, you might even have some sadness or depression. Because you realize that the connection is going nowhere. But you got somebody, like I said, that's coming in that's good for you. And they're going to be like the Seven of Wands. They're going to want to come out on top and be the last man standing. Maybe you're going to tell this person what you've been through with this player. And they're going to make sure or they're going to try their hardest to come out on top and be the last man standing with you. So Leo, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Leo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang, hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through it. So, stay strong. Take good care. Come back and check out the next reading for Leo that I post, which will be in about another four or five days. And it's going to be for... A reading for November. So Leo, I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope that you have a great day and take care.